Hi guys, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and in this video I'm going to be talking about what some of the nurses out there, nurses and doctors out there need and how you can help. I also want to talk about YouTube monetization. Yes, that's related. We'll get into it. So first and foremost, I received um, a comment from Brittany Thomas and she says, I'm a nurse working in the ICU. We are going to be running out of protective supplies. If you could encourage any of your watchers that sew to look into patterns the CDC has released for cotton face masks to donate to their local facilities, we are starting to ask people to help us prepare in this way. Thank you for what you do. You have helped me so much. Okay, so you are so welcome, Brittany. And Brittany, here we are. So I went and I looked at... What was it? So first of all, look at the CDC website and it does say that cloth masks are a last resort. Um, but then I went to deaconess.com. That's deaconess.com. D-E-A-C-O-N-E-S-S.com. It looks like they now have masks coming to them. Um, but if you want to visit that website, they do have they do have this whole form here on how to make a face mask and exactly what kind of cotton material is needed. It's really funny because it says what you will need, cotton fabric, a pretty print is best. <laughs> so uh, if you guys know how to sew, please follow the guidelines and do not just drive these homemade masks off to some facility. Call ahead and see if they want them, number one, need them. Okay, because again, these are last resort. There's no, uh, according to the CDC, there's not a 100% chance that it's going to, you know, protect people. It's supposed to be used in conjunction with a face shield. So if you guys know how to sew, get on out there. I started going, well, I better learn how to sew. And I'm like, no, wait a minute. I don't know how to make those things. And what if I do it wrong? You know what I mean? So if you have that talent, check with your local facilities, see if they have use for that because maybe they're getting actual like, you know, surgical masks in now, but, um, and then, you know, check the references here and make sure you know exactly what they are looking for. So there's that. Um, the other thing that I want to talk about, I'm going to be doing a meditation for COVID-19 coronavirus, uh, patients basically. And I've heard now that some of you out there have been diagnosed with COVID-19. Just a few weeks ago, YouTube was not allowing anybody who mentioned COVID-19 or coronavirus to monetize their videos. This becomes a huge issue, especially for someone like me, because a lot of what I do has to do with helping people stay emotionally supported and keep their faith during a crisis. That's what I do, right? Um, and, and that is a big part of our income, is that ad revenue, right? Um, and, you know, I, I'm not covered by unemployment. And a lot of those um, freelancer organizations out there, they are specific to artists. And I'm not technically an artist. So YouTube doing that really, I know, harmed my income. And I had to be very careful, especially with my regular content, to bleep out certain words. And <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I forgot to turn off my phone. Uh, to bleep out certain words so that I could still have my income, okay, along with personal readings. Now I understand that they are letting some channels, not all, they are allowing some channels to monetize their videos. Uh, so what I am going to attempt to do with that meditation for the COVID-19 patients and I would encourage you to look at it too you know and do the meditation with us that way we you know really support them in their healing I'm going to try to monetize it and whatever if I am able to monetize it whatever ad revenue that I earn from that to the end of April 2020 I will donate to whatever cause I can find that is helping people out so you know I never know how a video is going to perform, but usually, you know, it's going to get the most views within that time frame. <laughs> and then after that, especially if this, you know, calms down by the end of April and everything's open again, you know, people may not pay much attention to it. So again, I never know how a video is going to perform. I don't even know if I will be able to monetize it, but if I can, it could be anywhere from like, you know, 
$10 worth of revenue, it could be $1,000 worth of revenue. But the way that you can help is by letting the ads play. You can help out all of your favorite YouTubers by letting the ads play. Now, if it is a four minute ad, <laughs> no, you don't have to sit there for the, the full four minutes. I think it's like 30 seconds. If you let it play, you're helping them with their ad revenue. And again, with that meditation video, um, you let the ad run, now you're contributing to that fundraising effort. Now, I will keep you guys posted on that video in the comments section. Yes, I will pin the comment about <laughs> what's happening. I will say though, if I make that video and I try to monetize it, because I do have to put in COVID-19 and coronavirus, so people who are affected by that can find it. Otherwise, it's just gonna get lost in the mix and they're not going to you know, have that, that bit of support, that tiny bit of contribution I can make. So if they keep running ads on my video, but I'm not getting any of the ad revenue from it, keep checking the comment section. We'll look at it at that point and take next steps. Maybe we all need to write to YouTube and say, hey, <laughs> some of us out there are trying to do fundraising with our videos. You need to help us out and uh, help us get in that direction. And I would also put the call out to any big YouTuber. Maybe you're already doing this. I have, I'll be honest with you, I have not watched other YouTubers recently. It's been a very busy time. And, um, you know, just connecting with family, making sure everyone's okay, getting my own stuff around taxes. <laughs> taxes are a thing. And I know we have an extended deadline, but I'm not interested in that. I wanna get it off my plate. I'm sick of looking at them. There's a lot of paper there. So I encourage other bigger YouTubers to, you know, also maybe donate some of your ad revenue for just a little bit of time. I know it's our income, like I said, for a little bit of time uh, on one of your videos. Okay, so I'm going to record that meditation next. Thank you guys so much for your love and support and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.